Natural J here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another empties video. Um, I filled up my little basket again, so it's time to go through these. Um, let you know if I will repurchase them or not, and then put sorry piece of hair on my face and put everything in a recycle. So let's hop into it. First, we have another Thorough Breath um, Clean Mint mouthwash. I love this mouthwash, so I went through another big one. Already repurchased another one, so. This is a different repurchase. We have the Urban Hydration Peach and Papaya Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I love this uh, cleansing water, micellar water. And I didn't realize I, this was my last one when I was starting to run low. Um, they don't sell these in the store, it's online. They sell certain Urban Hydration products in the store like Ulta. I've seen it in Target and it's a black owned business. So I have to go online and order more because I normally order four at a time. So I have them for a little while. So I didn't realize that I already used like my entire stash. So I need to order more. <laughs> um, I ran, uh, this is my Ollie Women's Multivitamins. Um, love these vitamins. Um, already got another one. Um, they've been working really, really well. So why not just continue using them? Um, we have Baskin Bloom More Moisture Cream. You guys know this is my favorite. Um, this is what I normally use for my leave-in conditioner, so I need more. I think I have another one. Yes, I have another one, but I um, already have a backup, but once that runs out, I'll have to buy another one. But this is my favorite leave-in conditioner, or you can use this as a daily moisturizer or styler or something, but I normally use this as a leave-in because it's very, very moisturizing. Next, we have the Glow Recipe Moisturizer Refill Pod. I already popped the refill in. This is the, well, I needed a new one. And I love this moisturizer by Glow Recipe, so I needed a refill. I love that these come in like little refill pods. I wish more moisturizers came like that, so you don't have to buy the entire container again. It kind of saves money, but hey, I like how Glow Recipe does this, so definite repurchase. Next, we have my um, Body Prescription Rose and Collagen Hydrating Body Scrub. I love these body scrubs. I normally pick these up at TJ Maxx for like $5.99, and they last for a pretty decent amount of time because this is 21.6 ounces. It's a lot. It's filled to the top um, when you open it. So I love this. I try, attempt to exfoliate my body one to two times a week. It should be more, but it's hard sometimes. But um really love this scrub it's very gentle on the skin it's not very abrasive it's very like kind of smooth and subtle well yes yeah, smooth and kind of why did i say subtle <laughs> it's kind of smooth and soothing and stuff like that and leaves your skin really soft and gets all the dead skin cells off so highly recommend these next up i have my tower 28 sos daily research <laughs> daily rescue facial spray love this stuff i already have another one i use this um to lock in the moisture um because i don't know my skin has been a little bit dry lately and i just needed something to help lock in the moisture so this has been working really really well so continue to use it um i have another multi uh women's multivitamin so went through two packs i i I think this is the 90 count and then there's like 135 count. So you take two of these a day. So um, sometimes I don't see the big container, I only see these. So I just grab this so I have vitamins. But next time I'm in the store, if I see the bigger container, I'm going to purchase it. Next up, we have the Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash. I love this feminine wash. This is the only feminine wash that I use that I really like. So we're going to continue to use this. Already have backups, so definite repurchase. We have the um, EOS um, body lotion, the fragrance free one. I love this body lotion. It's super moisturizing. I absolutely love it. I know there's different scents, but I like getting the fragrance free one because I like to wear different perfumes and stuff like that, that some of the scented ones won't match with my perfume. So I like getting the unscented, you know, um, but this works really, really well. Super moisturizing. You're not ashy at the end of the day, like some body lotions leave you. So highly recommend this. It's super affordable. I think it's like seven or eight bucks at target maybe nine but these are very very affordable and we have another therabreath <laughs> mouthwash um we have pattern beauty deep scalp detox i love this stuff um i wish it came in a big container because i went through this pretty fast but um you basically apply it to your scalp and massage it it helps with breaking up buildup and stuff like that if you have an itchy scalp this really helps soothe my itchy scalp and i absolutely love this so um, you can use this before shampooing your hair or I'm reading the back of it. Yeah, mainly I use this before um, shampooing my hair or you can use this if you have a protective style like braids or twists. You can rub this in between your um, the parts and stuff like that if you're leaving your style in for a little while just to help relieve the itchiness and help refresh your scalp. So highly recommend this. It's really good. But I just wish a little bit bigger container because I forgot how many times I've used it and I, it went by too fast. So 
I wish it came in a bigger container. Next up, we have a Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. This is my favorite serum. I rave about this all the time. Amazing, amazing serum. I'll say it again. If you have issues with dark marks on your face or anything, grab this serum. It's very gentle on the skin. It fades to dark marks. doesn't leave any marks. You just have to be very, very patient with it because it takes time for the dark marks to fade. But once they do, your skin looks amazing. So highly recommend this. already have another one. Um, I have La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. This is my nighttime cleanser. Love this stuff. I already have another one. I love this cleanser. It really gets down and really cleanses the skin. Absolutely love this stuff. So yes, definite repurchase. I have a native sensitive deodorant, the coconut and vanilla one. I repurchased another one. I still haven't, I know I've talked about this, like it's a hit or miss sometimes. This time, some, <laughs> sometimes this works, sometimes it does not. So I'm just like, I'm going to continue using it. Um, I'm afraid of trying out different deodorants because sometimes if you try a deodorant, I don't want to be funky because I work and I have to talk to people. I'm in front of people. So I don't want to be the one people looking around like, what's that smell? And it's me. I'm like, that would be super embarrassing. So I probably have to try like a new deodorant over the weekend when I'm not around people. But I just need recommendations for natural deodorants. I like the ones that are aluminum free, um, you know, just free of all those harmful chemicals. I like the aluminum free deodorants. I haven't tried anything else. So I've been sticking with native. We shall see. <laughs> I do have another one already. Um, I have this Quamet Biologics Cocoa Tree Detangling Ghee with Barley Grass and Nettle Leaf. This was like a leave-in conditioner. I was not a fan of this. I didn't like how my hair felt when I used it or when I um, applied it to my hair. I just didn't like how my hair felt. It didn't feel moisturized and I just wasn't a fan. So I only used it once because I just wasn't a fan of it. Um... Yeah, it just was not, uh, it just didn't work with my hair. So, unfortunately, because I've used their products in the past before, a couple other products, I loved it. I got this when I went to the Hue Affairs in the goodie bag, I think, or I won something with them, but um, just was not a fan of this um, leave in conditioner. And then we have three Aquaphor lip balms that I have used up. And it's crazy how I have to have multiple ones because I lose lip balms. I have one at home one in my car, one in my purse, and one at my desk at work. <laughs> I have to buy the two pack, like two of them at a time. Um, so I have multiples because I will lose them and then I have to take my one from my car, put it in my purse. I lose that one. I'm taking the one from my desk, the one from home. It's it's a mess sometimes. So, But I do love these. These are the only lip balms I can use. Um, if you're unaware, sometimes I, I guess getting older, you become sensitive to things. Um, the lip balm I was using before, I had a somewhat allergic reaction to it and some lip products I cannot use. So this is the only lip balm that I can use in my lips right now. So we're going to stick with it. And lastly, we have Mio Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Strength Serum. I'm calling this an empty because, um, it was full and then somehow <laughs> it got emptied, spilled somewhere. So it's empty now. So um, I really did like this. I use this as a pre-poo um, and I also use this to help take down my twists and stuff like that. Absolutely love it. It smells amazing. It's not heavy on your hair or heavy on your scalp. Um, it's very soothing and relaxing. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So I don't know why this piece of paper towel stuck to it. But anyway, that is all my empties. So now I'm going to put all these in the recycle and then start all over. So once I fill this lovely basket up again, I will have another empties for you guys. Let me know if you used anything or any recommendations for products. Also recommendations for natural deodorant <laughs> and until next time guys i will catch you in the next video later